Where is he? <laughs> Doreen Rosenberry says when her daughter April got the call from her husband on Good Friday, she knew her two kids were in danger. She gets on the phone. She goes, Mommy, I'm scared. And he took the phone back, hung up said he wasn't pulling over. The children, eight-year-old Brianna and six-year-old Jason, who goes by Buddy, were in the car with their father, Jason Albert, when police say he was pulled over on Route 30 in Adams County for a traffic violation. Doreen says Jason showed troopers his ID, but then fled, leading police on a 15-mile chase into Franklin County. It ended with a fiery crash. My daughter finally found out that, yes, they did wreck, that her children were flown by Lifeline, which at that point, her and I lost it. Brianna was taken to Hershey Medical Center. Buddy rushed to Johns Hopkins. They were both burnt. That's basically all we knew till we got there. Both children sustained third degree burns from the knees down. Buddy also has burns on his arms and face as well as head injuries. I talked to my daughter and she said he told the nurse no and he said ouchie, ouchie, ouchie when they rolled him over. So that was the first time since the accident this past Monday that he talked. Brianna, who is now also at Johns Hopkins, doesn't remember anything that day after the phone call to her mother, something her grandparents say is a huge blessing. When as soon as I seen the car, I said, thank you, Lord Jesus, for helping them out of there because that was the only way they could come out of that car. They've also managed to let go of any resentment towards their son-in-law. Dad will have to, he sees them kids, he's going to see them. He knows what he's done. The scars are going to be there. I don't need to be angry to remind him of it. He's going to be reminded forever.